In this video, we're going to go over how to sum the values in an array. So let's use an integer array, and we'll just say int, and we'll say my array is equal to, and we'll have some values in here. So we'll say like 1, 2, 6, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. And so we've got how many values in here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. If we wanted to sum them up, what we're going to do is have some kind of variable that's going to keep track of our sum. And we'll, we'll initialize it to zero initially. So we'll say int sum is equal to zero. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write a loop that's going to look at each element in the array and add it to the sum. And if we do that for all of the elements in the array, we'll have summed all the elements in the array. And we'll start off with a counter variable i set to zero. And we'll go up until the length of the loop, which we said was eight, and we'll increment by one each time. And so what's going to happen here is if we do like a printf, for example, we could look at the array one index at a time. We could say my array percent %d is equal to percent %d, and we'll print out i and my array at i. And this is just that way we can kind of see what's going on inside our loop here. So if I run this code here, what's going to happen is, I'm just going to compile it here with GCC, and then I'll run it here. Oops, I just run it there. So what's going to happen here is we're going through the array one index at a time. We start off with zero for i, the counter variable, and we're going to go up until, but not including eight. It's going to stop when i is equal to eight, and we increment by one each time. So then we're going to get, you know, my array at zero is one, my array at one is two, my array at, my array at one is two, my array at two is six, my array at three is nine, and so forth. And if we go through all the numbers like, like this until we get up to uh, five here and just add them together in sum, we'll have summed the, the numbers in the array. So we're going to say now sum is equal to sum plus my array at i. And just so I can see what's going on, I'm going to do a printf of sum as well. So I'm going to do a printf and I'm going to print out the sum so far. And so I'll say printf and I'll say sum so far percent %d and for a new line, and I'm going to print out the sum so far so we can keep track of it. So I'll run this again here. And after one, the sum so far is one. After we add two, the sum so far is three. Then we add six, the sum so far is nine. We add nine, the sum so far is 18. We add eight, the sum so far is 26. We add seven, the sum so far is 33. Add six, it's, the, it's now 39. Add five and it's 44. And really all we've got now is this, this loop that, that, that sums this uh, array in terms of its, its elements in there. And then we could print out the sum at the end. So we could say like printf and we could say sum of array and we can print out the sum. And that'll give us the, the end sum there, which is going to be 44. And so what we could do if we wanted to make this repeatable logic that we could call again and again all over our program is we could put this logic inside a function. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take out the printfs now. So these printfs, throwing in printfs like this into our code, it can really help us to figure out what's going on inside our code because we can see you know, what our, what our array value is at a given index. We can see what the value of sum is so far and we can kind of use this this to make sure that our code is working correctly. But now that I'm confident it's working correctly, I'm actually going to take it out because we don't really need it anymore. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a function that's going to return the sum of an array. And I'll call it like int sum. And it's going to take in an array as an argument. It's also going to take in the length of the array as an argument. So that way I can give it arrays of all different lengths and it'll produce a sum for an array of any length. So we'll take this function that's our function declaration up there we'll take it down here and we'll make our, our function definition here and we'll just make our loop we'll say for int i is equal to zero i is less than length i plus plus we're gonna have to have a sum variable here or something to keep track of it um, so we'll say like uh, some value and i'm going to say here some value is equal to some value plus the array at i. And then I'm going to say return some value. And we've got the same logic here, the exact same logic here now as we had up here. So I'm going to delete this here. The one thing I got to do is I got to initialize some value to zero. 
I didn't do that. I initialized some value to zero. So that way we can actually, um, you know, start off with zero, of course. And then we'll return the sum value from this function that's expecting an int to be returned when we've finished completing the sum, when, we, when we've finished computing the sum there. So now we could try this with different arrays. So I could say, we'll make like this, maybe we'll call it A1. And I'll make a couple arrays here. I'll make like A2, A3, A4. So A2, A3, A4. We'll test it with different values. We'll, we'll make one where we've only got one thing in the array. We'll make one where we've got maybe two things in the array. So we'll have like 99 and 99. And then we'll make one with all different kinds of values. So we'll have like 50 and then like negative 50 and then maybe 100, negative 100 and 200 and negative 200. And then what we'll do is we'll call sum for each one of these arrays here just to make sure that it's working correctly. So we do printf and we can say like a1 sum percent d slash n so it's a new line and then we'll say sum a1 and array one had the eight elements to it so we'll give a length of eight and then we'll do the same thing and we'll print out the sum of a2 a3 and a4 a2 a3 and a4 and a2 a3 and a4 is what we're going to call sum with and a1 has a length of one a3 has a length of two and this one has a length a4 has a length of six so we'll put six there and then let's try this so i'm going to say clear i'm going to recompile my program i'll run it again and i get a1 of a sum of 44 again a2 has a sum of 100 that makes sense because it's only one element a3 has a sum of 198 that makes sense given you've got 99 and 99 and this here you've got a number and a negative number a number and the negative number a number and a negative number and you expect that to, to work out to zero there and it does so our, our function here uh, appears to be working and, and now we have this function that we could call wherever we need it in our code to sum the values in an array check out portfoliocourses.com where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers including courses to help you develop c programming projects